Hey guys, Ray here. How you doing? Got my buddy Leroy's on the job, man. Leroy's on the job. Well, look at here. We're back at Father's Day Corner. And doggone Mother Nature's messing with me. Messing with my spot. It done dropped the tree right in my sluice box. Prime sluice boxing spot. I'm going to have to get one of them power beavers out here and correct the problem. Not that I would use a chainsaw or nothing like that. Oh no. It's power beaver. We got plenty of water. We're going to probably do some digging right there. And then behind the big flat rock like we always do and set the sluice box up right there. Here we go. It's on, huh? It's on. Okay, we're gonna film him setting up. Super Roo here. <laughs> Make sure I'm doing this right here. There we go. I ain't so smart. I brought some other gloves. <laughs> Those were a better idea, I think. We'll see. Tape's all up in the air. Move it over. And then start pushing it down. And then here on mine, what I've done, since I'm putting it all the way up into the flare, I got this little piece of U-channel. And I pull it up over the edge and lock it over like that. Like and that keeps up. and that keeps all the water from going underneath the matting. So what, you're looking for like a V right yeah, here? Yeah, you kind of see the water being down right I through here. A v right there. And it's a good strong flow. Now if you had a question, you could always just pick up a handful of dirt. And look at there. That's one inch rock leaving. But it's still keeping your finds where they belong. Right. So it should be pretty active. Okay. Uh, keep going for half a minute more there, Leroy. Okay. And did we bring a bucket classifier? No, we did not. We brought the the hog pan. Get us a 
Yeah, that looks a little big there, Ray. It's, it's a nugget! Ah! <laughs> That's a little big. Okay. It's gonna be a little bit. You're shaking that thing around is not gonna be any fun. <laughs> hey, go big or go home! <laughs> Come or bleed. That's what Ray says. Come or bleed. So the hog pan classifier, I'm not worried about throwing the great big rocks in it. So what? It's tough. It's aluminum. You're not going to break it. It doesn't matter. You got some gold there, Leroy. I got some gold. You got gold, man. Yeah, so not bad. I don't. I don't know what you would call those. Let's see. I need to get it somehow. Would they be one hundreds or? Uh, no, they're bigger than hundreds. Yeah, I get hundred gold all the time. Where is it at? Pretty hard to see. There, I see it. You see it? Yep, right there on the edge there. Oh, not man. focusing very good. There it comes. Here it's focus right there. Okay. Now we need an excavator. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, he was wondering the reason I'm picking this is, and I've I've test panned over here on the high, I've test panned way up there at the front. I've actually got videos on it, but right down through the middle of this, in the deepest spot, is where I'm digging today. And uh, we we already did one bucket through the through the sluice box over here, and we we're digging along, and Leroy's like, shouldn't we test this? Hey, oh sure, let's go ahead and dump Definitely. one. Let's go ahead and dump one in the let's go ahead and dump one in the gold pan and check it out. And there's that one gold pan. Bam! I think an excavator would be nice though. Yeah, an excavator would be nice. I got an excavator. Look at him, he's got brown pants. <laughs> I got an excavator right there! We quit working for a living and start doing this. <laughs> I think my excavator is doing a good job right now. He, my excavator. <laughs> hey, and, and the diesel's kind of cheap for this fella. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Superstar Ray here. Oh well, yeah, we're. I'm working hard. <laughs> Woo, dogger, look at the sweat. Look at the sweat. Should have your beer in one hand though. Oh, no Beer. drinking. Well, actually, I'm not driving. You drink. I should have <laughs> drunk. God damn it. You could have brought your beer. <laughs> Didn't think of that. You always mind better with a few of them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that little sluice goose guy on YouTube, he always calls it nutrients. Yeah. <laughs> nutrients. Yeah, my nutrients. Uploading the nutrients. <laughs> we ain't got the goose here today. It's just, just Ray and Leroy. Yeah. All right, go ahead and punch that button. Yeah, I don't want to show you between Ray's legs here, but. Oh, it's a tough job. He's throwing one side and then the other because it's building up a little bit on the side. So he'll do a couple over here and then he'll do a couple over here. As high up on the sluice box as I can, that way it gives a chance. To, yeah. It'll catch it's it tumble, somewhere. Tumbling down good. Have we seen gold? Yeah, yeah we got We've it. seen it in the pan. Okay, how you shunk this thing off, Ray? Uh, push Red? the silver one right in the middle one, yep. Yeah, we're just finishing up the tenth bucket here. And get ready to call it a day. Didn't kind of want to just stop and look at some of the rocks. Got a lot of pretty rocks around here. A lot of granite, a lot of shale, a lot of quartz, matrix in quartz.
course, with lots of pockets in it. Green serpentines. Yep, I got a tiny bit of battery left. Better save it for the end of the map. Hey guys, well, it's Saturday night and I went <coughs> out with my my sluice box today up with my buddy Leroy up on the Montana Creek. And we're doing a almost done final panning here. I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures here in a minute and just want to show you this pen is some gold. Let me go ahead and get it knocked down and I'll show you the last final pan. And there it is. There's some Montana Creek gold. Let's zoom right out again on it. It's always bigger and chunkier than out there at the uh, on the beach. It looks pretty. Night, friends. God bless you.